All right, recording this, okay. So we're trying to calculate uh, our basic aspects for our graph for this. Okay, so now what I've done is I've calculated the average, right? And I have, let me make this even bigger, right? And I've calculated the average. And so this says average of this range, right? Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna do that same exact thing, but I'm gonna do standard deviation, STDEV, which is the which is the equation, the command for calculating standard deviation. Open the parentheses, same thing. I'm gonna select the range of all those pellets on that one date and then hit close parentheses. And that's now my standard deviation. But remember standard deviation is gonna be sensitive to our, our sample size and all this kind of stuff. So we wanna control for our sample size. In other words, like that one date, right? Maybe you had 40 pellets, right? Whereas the other dates, maybe you have like five, you know, kind of mm -hmm. thing. So, so it turns out standard deviation will change a lot, even just based on those, um, uh, or, or potentially could change a lot mm -hmm. uh, uh, based on that. So, so the standard error is an effort to control for that. So I'm gonna call this SE for standard error. You can also call standard deviation SD. So let's call this SE. And now you can do this all in one simple equation on one line, but it, it, I find it easier to explain to you guys this way just because it makes it simpler. Um, but realize you can get as sophisticated as, as you want. Right. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna type in the equal sign. And now I'm gonna take that standard deviation. So I'm first gonna select that cell. So it says, dude, grab that sucker. And now we're gonna do something to that dude. So now I'm gonna hit, um, the, the the slash for divided by and this is what we're doing we're doing well, actually let me type it first and then, then we'll talk about it okay so that looked complicated, but let's, let me explain what it is. So uh, is this big enough? Can you see this on the screen? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what this says is it says, okay, what is the standard deviation? The standard, excuse me, what is the standard error? The standard error is the standard deviation divided by the sample size, excuse me, divided by the square root of the sample size minus one. So it says, so this first, this thing right here that I'm highlighting, this, mm -hmm. it says count, count how many numbers there are, zeros, ones, tens, whatever. So count how many. So in this case, it's gonna turn out to be four. And so then it says, uh, that's the sample size, that's the N. And so four minus one, so that becomes three. And then it says, take the square root of three. So that, 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 that's a bunch of fancy thing just to do that. Okay. So then this gives you my standard error. Um, now, if I, I visually look and if my standard, and so when I, when I make these bar, so, so this, this cell average would be the bar, right? The, mm -hmm. the height away from the axis. Standard error would be the error bars, right? The noise, the spread around that, what we call the, the, um, the variation, right? And the average is the central tendency. And so, so now with this arm, we can, we can generate this for all of our things. So we can have the, and that's gonna tell us the average number of moose, the average number of mice per pellet on that date. And then the next is gonna be the average number of drew some crickets per pellet on that day, et cetera. Um, and so, uh, and then you should make the graph like, I'll stop sharing for now. You should make the graph like, uh, sh share a screen for me your data visualization one, please. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be like this. So, um, so it'll say, instead of saying Jerusalem crickets, this is going to say uh, that part of your graph would say October 12th. Right. And, and that, and that's, that's going to be the species group one, species group two, species group three, species group four for, for the colored bars. Does that make sense? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I don't know, like the, I think it was muted or I couldn't oh, hear sorry, it. Sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me say it again. So um, so uh, this is the, the rough format that you're going to use for, for the one we just made, Karina. And so, um, but right now you have it as 
uh, uh, this guy, or excuse me, the, the, uh, I'm, drawing, I'm pointing on my screen like you can see me. Wow. I'm so confident. I'm such a good <laughs> teacher. Jeez. Okay. So, so the, Jeru where it says Jerusalem crickets, that's going to say October 12th, where it says Jerusalem crickets and larvae, that's going to say October 14th, right? So for each day, there's going to be a cluster per day. Okay. And then uh, the blue bar would be, say, the mice. The orange bar would be the Jerusalem crickets. The, the gray bar would be the, the insect larvae and so on and so forth. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And so then, but then each of these, in addition to having just the bar, just, just the bar, which is the average, they'll also have the variance, which is the standard error for each of those things. Okay. Okay. And so when you have that done and we look at this, this will help guide us with the, the, the next step we'll do, which will be the um, statistical analysis. So looking at this will help us visually understand, broadly speaking, like eh, those, that's almost surely not going to be statistically significant. Okay. It's not going to be an effect of that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, or, or, oh my gosh, that's probably going to be significant. Let's check that sucker out, right? Let's, let's, let's do a hypothesis. Let's do a, uh, an analysis of variance or whatever on that, uh, on that data set. Um, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, so that, so, Let's get that visualization or those couple of visualizations updated, and then okay. let's go on to the stats. But let's get that first. So, so in general, I'm, yeah, right. I'm gonna need to um, count how many Jerusalem crickets that were in each pellet that contained them, right? To get those. Right. Isn't that isn't that what you guys did? The only thing is because some of them like they were really tiny pieces. So I'm sure. like we don't we don't we don't know if we did it right or not. Totally. No, it's okay. So, so like, so, how do I? So, so you just you just call that a minimum, right? Okay. So, so, um, uh, it, right. So we have to have something. So the classic would be the jaw, right? So okay. like the jaw, like the skulls break a lot, right? Because they're yeah. just they're they're not they're pretty big, and you guys you know coughing them up, and they're just crushed and everything. So, um, it's like oh my god, I got a piece of a skull here, got a piece of a jaw here. Now, yeah. was that? One well, we did that for the bones. We did that for the right. other right. So the I'm same, talking about the Jerusalem cricket. Yeah, no, it's the same thing with the Jerusalem. Same thing? Okay, okay. Same exact thing. So what you would just want to do is you just want to pick some metric, right? Okay. So it could be a leg, you know, or a leg with spikes right. or, or something. And now is it the case that there was one Jerusalem cricket there who just got super, super munched and we got 20 leg parts? Okay. Or or was it that the owl ate 20 different um, Jerusalem crickets. And that's right. So we don't know. We don't right. know. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. so, um, uh, but, but take a stab at it. Right. So, so, so how many, how many legs, how many big legs did we have or something? Right. And it's, it's understood that it's, we, we don't, we don't know if that's, you know, the, okay. No, another option you could do, another one that, that is a bit more objective is weight. You could also weigh those. Okay. But, but anyway, but the point is, it's okay. I get that. I get that with some of these parts that are really hard to, to determine um, uh, a unique number of, in, a unique number of items consumed. Mm -hmm. um, but let's just take a stab at it. If it's just okay. totally lame and totally freaky, eh, we don't have to do it. And we can, we can go back to this proportion of pellets with, but let's take a stab at that first to okay. see if that works. All right, then I will do that then. Cool. I think I'm I'm good now. Kind of understand okay, cool. it better now. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna stop this.